James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying another really fun tie. It's a Salvatore Ferragamo owl tie, as in hoot owl, like the bird owl. You know, the ones that uh, uh, look out those big old eyes at night and everything else. So it's a gorgeous tie, but it's also fun. Um, most of my Ferragamo ties are novelty ties. And what I do like about them is they are luxurious silk. They feel amazing. They look like classic ties from a distance. And then you get up close to them, you start seeing they're made up of something. This particular tie here is made up of, it's a red tie, of course, and it's got little owls. The owls are white with like blue, uh, light blue, which matches my shirt. Uh, the top of the owl, like its head, has a yellow beak or an orange beak and little like yellow feet. And they're very symmetrical. It's what Ferragamo does. He takes interesting little figures or cartoony th type things, puts them in a symmetrical uh, geometric type pattern that make them look like classic ties. So as far as a review goes, uh, I've reviewed a lot of Ferragamos because I have a lot of Ferragamos. Very nice silk, lays perfectly, thin tie, and very soft, like a buttery soft, very smooth silk. Um, I think I've said before, Ferragamo makes one of the smoothest silk ties out there. Um, you know, they are a screen printed tie, but their screen printing, printing process is pretty um, pretty seamless. It's very, um, uh, I, I haven't ever seen it done, but I've been told about it, that it's very painstaking, similar to like what Hermes does, a very, very uh, much attention to detail, I should say. So uh, they make great ties, love Ferragamo ties. They tie a really tight knot, and the knot stays all day because of the way they make their silks. So let's, let's tie this thing up, see how it comes together. I'm pairing with a light blue shirt that matches the owl's head. That's why I'm pairing it there. So uh, because I have a lot of Ferragamo ties, I already know I'm going to be right in this range as far as my spot, you know, right around here, and that should tie us pretty close to a perfect tie. So um, I'm going to take the long part of the tie over top of the short part. We come up and under and through. Now we take it around back behind, keeping everything nice and tight, up and over and back through. Now we're creating what I call a checkpoint. This is our little triangle. We're going to make sure everything's coming together nice. If this looks off or isn't coming together right, here's where you make your adjustments because this is the base of a Windsor tie. Uh, now we're going to come around the top, around that base we've just created, create a little pocket here, this little pocket right here, up and through, and then we'll tuck it through that pocket. Hold the, And we hold the top of the pocket, and we pull the tie through. It's got hung up there just a little bit. Now this is the finishing phase of the tie. This is where we make our tie perfect. We're going to take and tuck the corners around a little bit here at the edges. Hold on to the knot and pull on the long part of the tie. This tightens the knot. Watch how this knot goes from this kind of a square uh, looking rectangular thing into a nice triangle. We hold this and we pull. Look at that. Look how it comes to a triangle. Then we hold the knot we pull on the shorter part of the tie. And now we should have a perfectly tied triangle. I'm going to tighten this knot just a little bit here. We want the tip of the tie, this part of the tie here, to come between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. So I back away here. I'm coming, looks just past the top, so I'm good with that. Today is a Zoom meeting day for me. I'm a financial planner. I'm doing everything over Zoom today. I actually have some interviews today with uh, some potential new employees. So um, nobody's going to see me really from the waist down. So I could get by with a short tie, but I like my ties perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this knot up just a little bit. By tightening the knot, I'm pulling the long part. That gives me some more slack out there. So that's all I'm doing, it's just tightening it up. And now I've created a little bit more space on my tie. Now it's almost down to the bottom of the tie. Gives me a little more space to work with. Put the collar down. Let's see how this all came together here. That collar stay got stuck on the tie. There we go. Okay, now we got a perfect triangle. We're just going to center it up here on me. We're going to tuck the back of the tie in. Oh yeah, that came together real nice. I, I'm telling you, Ferragamo, I'm not just, Ferragamo is not my quote unquote favorite brand, although I do wear their belts and a lot of their ties. Uh, I don't have a favorite brand per se. I mean, I named my dog Zinnia because I love Zinnia suits, and I have probably more Zinnia and Ferragamo than anything else. But I just like good quality, and I got to tell you, these are some of the best quality ties that money can buy. Uh, I, I just don't, I don't know that you can beat Ferragamo when it comes to a tie. That's my per personal opinion. If you like, you know, novelty type ties. Uh, if you like the more classy ties, obviously Keaton, uh, Zinnia, um, e you know, Gucci makes a good tie, um, uh, Brioni makes a good tie. There's a lot of really good classy ties. But when it comes to novelty ties, 
I, I just don't think you can beat a fair combo. The looks can be scrolling across the bottom of your screen, and I'm going to go over it with you right now. So today we are wearing a aforementioned Zinnia suit. Uh, this is a, a lighter blue suit. It's not a, not not super light, but it's not a navy. So we have a Zinnia blue suit. We're in a light blue Brooks Brothers dress shirt. We're wearing a red Salvatore Ferragamo tie with owls, hoot owl. Um, and we're wearing uh, a light brown Ferragamo belt with a uh, silver gunmetal uh, belt buckle. We're pairing that with a pair of Ferragamo uh, Oxfords, light brown. On my Instagram, Ty Guy James Acres, you'll see close-ups of the belt and shoes, close-ups of the knot, close-ups of the tie. So you can really see those hoot owls right there. Uh, you'll see uh, selfies of me with everything tied and the whole outfit, as well as the whole outfit staged here on my wall. So you can just kind of get an idea of how it all comes together. Um, if you don't mind, check out my Instagram. Click subscribe on my YouTube channel because I do post. I try to post four or five videos every single week. I hope this all helps, but I am ready for work.